Hey guys. <laughs> Remember how pretty this was last year? <laughs> I'm a little late. <laughs> it's like I popped out a kid or something, right? Anyways, welcome back. Homesteading hijinks. I named it that because, well, we get pretty clever around here on how we're going to get stuff done. So instead of homesteading shenanigans, which was really hard for a lot of people to spell, we went. I went with homesteading hijinks, or we went with hijinks. Anyways, um, here it is. Here's the hoop house before I'm getting ready to, I'm going to throw a bunch of beans and a bunch of squashes in here and uh, hope for the best. Hope I get some sort of harvest before our next frost. We actually had a frost, I think four or five nights ago. It is currently June 19th. Squashes should have been in the ground a month ago. That didn't happen. Uh, beans about the same time. So um, my plan is to run a bean on every single one of these all the way down because it'll spin around and uh, crawl, climb up and go that way. And then I'm gonna run um, binding squashes, so winter squashes all along the bottom. Um, I got rid of my string. Well, actually, my husband started to get rid of the string. He's been out here working for me because I've been baby duties. So, um, but if you look, I do have nails and those are my 12 inch markers for my square foot gardening. So I'll just run a stick across because honestly, the string was just a pain in the butt to clean everything up anyways. So, um, those are my bean seeds in a shoebox. If you need a way to do them, that's how I did it. I just put some cardboard in there. Um, I have the sprinklers going. It is super, super dry here in the Nevada desert. So, these have some work to do. And, um, yeah. Um, I just wanted to give you guys the before. And uh, I may add to this video in a little while. I don't know. But uh, I just, I got, I've got 40 minutes, 50 minutes until he eats again. So uh, I had to get busy. So, see you in a little while. Hey guys. Okay, so I know I haven't posted the other part of this video yet. So this is a continuation of the video I started over a week ago. Um, but here you are. Um, for those of you that are local that were wondering how close we were to the fire, it was on the other side of the freeway, all up there. You can see smoke coming back up. Um, we did not have to evacuate because we're on this side of the freeway. But uh, as you can see, it definitely did some damage. Let's zoom in. Oh, I'll try to zoom in. I got a glove on one hand. So, there we go. There's like 270 firefighters on it, and they're working on it. So, anyways. Um, where we were last time is I was planting beans and I planted beans. Let's check them out. I also have a couple volunteers. Let me get my pop out. Okay. So this is a volunteer right here, as is that. I didn't come out here because I was pregnant to get my um, beans. So some of them popped open and gave me some volunteers. I've been picking beans up for a while. Um, I do need to water some more spots, like that's pretty dry, that's why those haven't sprouted. But as you can see, oh, and also, um, I'm doing, I did two per pole, because I wanted, it's an experiment, and I only did it for these beans, and I, I have pictures of them, I haven't put my tags down yet. But I also put climbing, um, or vining, um, curcubits in these front squares, as you can see. And uh, they're popping up in spite of the lack of water because I need to come out here and clean these drip lines. But you can see I got green in here. Ooh, you are sad. All right, I got a water. I got I grabbed the hose and or I brought a sprayer out here. Those are probably uh, uh, not butternut. I can't remember. They're big. But, as you can see, look, there's one that hasn't popped its little bean yet. Okay, so this bed is completely planted. Now, this bed, the middle bed, is not. What is planted is this front section from my little square over there, all the way down here, which happens to be 14 squares. And in 14 squares, because of square foot gardening, I was able to get 162 bean plants in here. 
it's so tempting to pull those off. You have no idea. It's so hard not to. <laughs> I have pictures of the list of stuff that's on these as well. That one's a happy one right underneath that drip. So I'll spray them all down and hopefully um, tomorrow it'll be a lot greener. I'm going to put more beans in there. Um, if you're doing square foot gardening, you can do nine uh, bean bush beans together. So that's the difference between what's over here is these are bush beans and these are pole and runner beans. So they're going to run up the remesh. Um, I'm also pulling out my little stakes that I used to help train my tomato plants last year. And I wanted to show you guys my favorite tool when it comes to planting. Look, we got my cups. Oh, so you guys saw the cups of me transplanting. Look how happy and green everything is. Um, I didn't lose a single plant in transplant. Uh, and some of these, when I did the video, were touching the dirt. So, um... As you can see, some of these are over a foot tall, and uh, I've been cutting off flowers because I want them to focus on roots, not flowers, and then I found this little guy. I apparently missed one. So um, when I go to plant them, I'll be back to show you how I do that, but I do have some okra, which I need to pop that off because you are not ready to give me okra. Oh, you neither are you. What the heck? I missed some beautiful flowers. Uh, okra makes the most gorgeous marigold flowers. If I remember, it's marigold or hibiscus. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna pop off flowers because this needs to focus on giving me roots, not um, not fruit. It's got a couple weeks before I'm gonna start seeing fruit because I need I need roots. Without a good root system, you don't get good fruit. And yes, veggies are a fruit. Well, not veggies, but uh, these types of veggies are fruits. Tomatoes are fruits. So, anyways, you get the idea. Um, I did come along and pull off any lower leaves. I'll go ahead and pop this one off so that I can bury it up to here. And by burying it up to here, these little hairs that you see, those are potential roots. Those absorb water. So by burying more of the stem, these little fuzzies can give me more roots. So again, root system. Oh, see, look, I missed that one. I didn't come out and do that one right there. So I'll have to come through and hem a few. I call it hemming because I sew. Um, but yeah, we're going to get these planted semi-deep. Um, okay, so the tool. Here it is. Check this out. I, I call it a, I think it's called a garden auger. Okay, so here's my square foot line, right? These little dots, these uh, nails, my roofing nails. I'm gonna come here, right about center, which should be about here. It's attached to a screw gun. It's about two feet long. I'm standing, check this out. I'm gonna turn the speed down after I get done with you guys. Oh. So I'm going to go through and do that to all of them and then I can just drop my cup in. And it also tills the dirt and makes it softer for me. And you can see my dirt is still really dark. I may not have to throw compost in. We have compost, but I asked my husband to uh, put it in a wheelbarrow and he hasn't had time because newborns are time consuming. Go figure, right? So my plan is there's 20 square feet per row. This, is, this bed right here is 20 feet long by 4 feet wide. So I get 80 plants in this bed. I can get 40 tomato plants along the remesh as a support system. So I'm going to have 40 tomato plants in here. I'm going to put some hot peppers over here on the sunny side. I may even put them over here. We'll see. Um, okra did really pretty well over here and so did um, uh, eggplant. So eggplant and okra are growing over here. And then I have a bunch of bushing of uh, bush zucchini, which are summer zucchini, summer squash. Um, I have those pulled out and I'm going to be planting those. 
I'm going to do two per hole. It's all part of an experiment. Like I said, I am so late in the year. I'm over a month late on this stuff. So because of that, I got to do what I got to do. So I'm going to double up, play with it, see what happens. Trim back excess leaves and uh, see if I get any sort of harvest. And if I don't, oh well. If I do, awesome. You know, do, better to have tried and, and gotten something, right? So this bed is 24 feet long two feet wide there's 48 plants in here well more than that because I doubled up on these um, kirky bits plus a couple volunteer beans and uh, yeah as you can see it's coming along it's um, oh and today for the record is the 28th I think it's been nine days and then I planted those the bush beans maybe four or five days ago maybe five days ago because I came out yesterday and they were sprouting, so I was very excited. And they said three to, I think, ten days for sprouting. So, okay, um, I'm going to get this stuff planted and I'll be back. Hey guys, really quick, I'm just doing, oh, sorry about that. I'm doing a quick update. Uh, check this out. So, to let you know where I'm at, everything's been watered in this bed. Okay. And it's been 45 minutes. 45 minutes, I watered this bed. I watered the row that has the seedlings, and I drilled all the holes. All 40 holes are drilled and ready for tomatoes. Um, so check this out. Remember that one I said I wanted to pull the little cover off, the little bean cover off? It's been 45 minutes since I started the last video, so it's probably been about 40 minutes. Look at this. Oh, sorry. Oh, dang it, I knocked it off. Look at that. So it fell off. And look, this, I bet by the time I'm done out here today, that's fully open. Isn't that cool? Like, I think it's cool. <laughs> and in watering, I found I have a ton of sprouts. And they're all popping up. I also found out I may have a critter. Because that one... Yeah, look at these little, check these out, they're coming out. Be very careful when you mess with seedlings. That's the one I was looking for. Look at that, my, seat, my leaves are missing. So hopefully it does okay without a first set of leaves. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, that's my last update for this video and then I'll get this posted later on tonight. Um, anyways, back to, so now it is 7.21. So it's been a few hours. If you had seen the wind earlier, by the way, I'm rocking a baby, so I'm sorry. Um, if you had seen the wind earlier, you would understand why I didn't do this earlier. But um, here's what we did, or I did. Um, so just a quick update on that bean. The one that we pulled the, uh, that I told you I wanted to pull the cover off of. Oh, you okay? Uh... Oh, it's okay. That's the bean. Right there, smack dab in the middle. The little shell that was on it, or the little cover, is sitting right in front of it. But, um, yeah. I got 40 tomato plants po planted today. Oh. There they are. Going along here. Everything is nice and drenched, so, because they got a little dry while they were waiting their turn. As you can see, I still need to plant from that square over. Um, you can see there's already a lot of growth in this bed just in the afternoon today. I'm quite excited. Oh. For the most part, I think almost all of my seeds sprouted. I think there's there's a blank spot there at the bottom of that post. And a blank spot there. And then that square is empty too, and I'm a little bummed about that. I gotta figure out what that is. So, 40 tomato plants. Oh, and you guys, check this out. <laughs> I have a bean volunteer back there. See it? <laughs> Okay, so because I had 40 plants, or 40 tomato plants, and they are already in, 
I have extras. So they are going to go in that big long bed back there. And then they're just going to be more susceptible to cold weather. That's just how that's going to be. <laughs> um, a lot of them are duplicates because I lost so many when I was in the hospital. And, uh, but it's okay. I mean, fruit is fruit, right? But I did get my hot peppers in. And those stop right there. Okra starts there. And eggplant continues to the rest of the end of the row. And then that square right there doesn't have anything, but all of these squares in front to the plastic trays over there, there, exactly across from that pepper, all have summer squashes. So this is gonna be kind of a pain to walk through here when they all expand, but the beauty of it is I can trim off extra leaves. The reason the cups are still here is because I have not had a chance to make flags and tags for everything. So that is my way of remembering what's planted where. You notice the names are all pointed up. That little plant, I hope it makes it, it's so small. And I may be imagining it, but I actually think the leaves on these pepper plants are greener than they were when I started this morning. So I'm hoping that the nutrients from this soil is making happy peppers. So we have how many extra tomato plants? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Yeah, so 13 extra tomato plants. And I believe I have room for 16 on that piece of remesh there. So we hopefully we'll get some tomatoes and uh lots of beans that one's the tallest i think right over there you can see it all right well anyways um there's your update that's what i've managed to get done there are 128 squares in here uh, for square foot gardening and i have 35 left so i have the entire front of this row where all these red cups are i have six right there I have eight right there, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so there's eight underneath those two trays. And then that last square down there. So hopefully I figure out 35 new plants. And if you have any ideas on some super fast growing, high yield, whatever, uh, let me know. Uh, I am gonna put maybe um, some basil, some holy basil, some herbs that I think will grow fast and won't be too invasive. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. I'm, I am going to put more bush beans down because they, uh, they have nodes and they give the tomatoes nitrogen. So we're going to, they're, should plant pretty good together with the tomatoes. All right. Well, have a good one. Thanks for spending your time with me and yeah, have a good one.